you are an author, you love books. Our viewers who are all over the world love books. And I asked you to share at least three books that have made a huge impact on your purchase. Right. The first book, yes, I, I, I thought we were going to mention that. The first <laughs> book is this one by John Beatty, African Philos Religion and Philosophy. was an important book beginning to understand things beyond the material, things beyond the physical. So it influenced me. It was important to understand because when we talk about African thought, mm. we need to know its sources and it's mainly the cosmos and African spirituality. Mm -hmm. These are the sources of our culture. So that book, then the second book was For the President's Eyes Only mm. by John Brumer. Um, I remember Squilly Moyo, when I tried to interview, you say, no, Patisse, I told you, go and read that book first. Uh, finally, I did go to the, uh, it was the National Free Library. Just asked, I wasn't sure if they would be having the book. Yes, there it was. They said, but we, we don't allow people to take, to take it, out. it out. Yeah, but well, we know you are a researcher. It's way back, I think, in the late 80s. And they allowed me to take it out. I read it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then what I was learning from this John Brumer was how politics is done. How certain world interests, economic interests, not political interests. I see politics as the lock which unlocks the box of wealth. It's all about uh, economy. Mm. So I realized how they were dealing with certain Afri uh, uh, African politicians, the nationalists, African uh, Capricorn Africa society, how they were moving in and tuning these people, doing the set special branch. Then later the CIO, I, I got to understand, oh, this is how CIA works, this is how MI5 works, so my understanding of politics is different from other people's mm. the way. And this is why I stay clear of politics. Because I see uh, these intelligence bodies, they get involved. In, mm. They are the long arm of politicians. Mm. That's so I learned that. And, and the third book? The third book is not a book. So I deliberately said it would be wrong for me to bring three books. The third one is the oral book. Oh, wow. It's the book that your father was reading to you. My grandfather. Your grandfather that you talked about. That to me was an important book. And that book was my father. Our knowledge was orally transmitted. So if things oral are no longer that important, the material is still there. It's not the the mode of transmission that matters. Mm. If today they plug certain instruments into their ears, let's feed what your father was feeding you with into these modern ones.